In this video, we are going to discuss force voltage analogy to convert a mechanical system into electrical system. So, we can see this mechanical system and electrical system conversions here. In mechanical translational or rotational system, input is considered as force. So, here I am giving this force voltage analogy for converting mechanical translational system into electrical system. So, similarly we are having the conversion from mechanical rotational system to electrical. So, here for example, if you are having any mechanical translational system in your hand, if you want to convert into electrical network. So, this is the analogy that you need to follow. We are having two analogies to convert any mechanical translational system into electrical system. That two analysis are force voltage analysis and force current analysis is also there that we will discuss in the next class. So, here this is the force voltage analysis to convert mechanical translational system into electrical network. So, here for mechanical system, so here input is always considered as force and output is in terms of velocity. And for electrical system, input is voltage source, output is a current through element. So, here what are the elements in mechanical translational system? We are having basic three elements in mechanical translational system. So, that is mass and uh, dashpot and a spring. Coming to mass, we know the force related to mass. When we apply any force on that basic element, we are going to get some opposing force from that bodies. So, here on mass if you applied any force, there may be another opposing force related to that mass. So, that will be is equal to m into dx square by dt if displacement is x dx square by dt is nothing but acceleration. Whatever the force, opposing force due to that mass is there, that is proportional to acceleration. Acceleration is nothing but double differentiation of displacement. So, here the force is equal to m into dx square by dt. So, this is the force due to that mass. So, here we can write this as m into dv by dt. Why? Because Acceleration you can write in terms of d square displacement by dt square or d into d by dt of velocity. Differentiation of velocity or double differentiation of displacement is nothing but acceleration. So, if you want to write in terms of voltage then your opposing force by this mass is equivalent to m into dv by dt. If you have mass element in mechanical system, so that can be treated as inductor L in electrical system. So, we are going to treat this as L. So, M we need to consider as L in electrical system. In electrical system, so the input voltage source, voltage source is equal to L into di by dt in terms of output current. If you want to write this E, so you can see F here is equal to E here, M here is equal to L here. So, you are writing equation for F means you need to write equation for E. E is equal to, so current through inductor, current through inductor is the output current through the element. So, L into di by dt. So, not uh, current through the element is I and the voltage is equal to voltage in terms of current is equal to current means current through the element is equal to L into di by dt will be the voltage input voltage E, voltage source E. Coming to dashpot in mechanical system. In mechanical system, if you are having dashpot, the opposing force due to that dashpot, you can write like B into dx by dt. That means the opposing force due to that dashpot is proportional to the velocity. Velocity means differentiation of displacement. So, we will take that constant as friction coefficient. B into dx by dt will be the force due to the dashpot. Or you can write, if you want to write in terms of voltage, 
then directly you can write b v b into v where b is the friction quotient due to the dash pot and v will be the voltage and coming to electrical system when you are translating that mechanical system to electrical system you need to model that dash pot as resistance dash pot you will take as friction which opposes the moment so like that in similar way in the electrical system we will consider that dash pot as resistance so if you are writing force equation there here you need to write the equation for voltage source e so here e is equal to current through this r current through the resistance is equal to i current through the resistance is equal to i when you are writing equation for voltage so current into resistance will give you that voltage value that means e is equal to ir will be the equation for this coming to the third element in mechanical translational system so that is equal to spring spring is having elasticity so it's having elastic coefficient k so we are going to write force equation for spring also when we apply any force on spring then definitely an opposing force will be there that opposing force f is equal to k into x always opposing force in the spring is proportional to the displacement and that displacement here in all cases i am considering like x please keep in mind i am taking all the elements of this mechanical translational system with one side is fixed you know what to do when two sides are free then just you need to take x1 minus x2 or difference of that displacement you need to consider if this side is not fixed this side is not fixed and if uh, if you are having another displacement x1 or x2 you need to take the difference that's it so here basically we need to consider reference for e each and every element so here you are having spring for this spring the elastic coefficient is equal to k the force is equal to kx if you want to write in terms of voltage how we will write displacement in terms of voltage differentiation of differentiation of displacement is equal to voltage so if you want to write x so definitely that will be integral of voltage differentiation of displacement d by dt of x is equal to v if you want x you need to integrate v so that's why f is equal to kx that is equal to we can write in terms of voltage as k into integral v dt the <coughs> electrical element related to this spring we can take it as capacitor so here e is equal to voltage through this capacitor can be derived by using current through capacitor so 1 by c integral i dt will be the current will be the voltage through that capacitor by using current through capacitor we can write the voltage input voltage source equation so by this table you need to keep in mind in mechanical system force velocity or the input outputs and here voltage and current or the input outputs and here you need to take force in mechanical system same force that can be modeled as input source e and mass is considered as this inductance dashpot is considered as resistance and spring is considered as capacitance in the electrical system coming to very important points related to this conversion these are the four important points that we need to follow in mechanical system the elements having same velocity are said to be in series whatever the elements are in series for example after mass you are having dashpot after that you are having spring for example if the elements in mechanical translational system are in series are said to be have same voltage similarly in electrical system if the elements are in series then those elements are said to have same current mechanical system if the elements are in series those are said to be having 
same voltage but in electrical system similarly in electrical system the elements in series will have same current. Now coming to the second point each node each node means meeting point of different elements in mechanical system currents cor corresponds to a closed loop in electrical system generally meeting point is nothing but mass in mechanical system mass element in mechanical system each node or meeting point or mass in mechanical system can be considered as closed loop in electrical system this is the very important second point and coming to third point number of meshes number of meshes in electrical system is equal to the number of masses in mechanical system mesh is nothing but a closed loop so how many closed loops are there means how many number of masses are there in mechanical system that many number of meshes will be there in electrical system coming to the fourth final important point the element connected between two masses we saw so many problems we saw two more problems two or more problems related to that mechanical translational system in between masses we can see dashboards we can see springs so whatever the elements connected in between two masses those can be considered as common elements between the meshes in electrical network so here based on these four points I want to convert one mechanical system into electrical system based on force voltage analogy. So here I want to consider this system. I am having M1 mass M1 and mass M2 like this. I am having a spring here as well as I am having a dashboard also. I am having a dashboard. So this is B1 and this is K1 and here some force is acting here F and the displacement here is X1 and the displacement here is X2. Here also I am having a spring and here also I am having a dashboard. Here I am having a reference. <coughs> and uh, I am writing like this. So, I am having some friction from surface for this mass. I am having friction from surface. This is not having any friction from surface. I take in the wheels. This is my mechanical system. Now, according to this force voltage analogy, I need to convert into electrical network. So, now you can see you are having two mass here. So, definitely your force voltage analyzed electrical circuit will have two meshes. So, I am going to consider that two meshes. So, I am going to consider that two meshes like this. So, mesh 1 and mesh 2. Two meshes. So, here I am having M1. M1 means I need to have a inductor. First of all, I will start from force. If I am having force here, definitely electric voltage source must be there in electrical. So, I am having force. So, I am replacing with voltage source. So, now after that I am having M1 here. I am having M1 here means I am having an inductor here. I am having an inductor here. So, where I need to take that inductor? Here I am taking that inductor. So, this is L1. Inductance related to mass M1, I am considering that as L1. And coming to here, I am having a friction coefficient also. This friction coefficient I am considering like B2. So, I am considering like B just B and this as B2 and this as K2. So, this friction coefficient is only related to M1. So, that is why when you are having friction coefficient you need to consider resistance. 
so I am having resistance, I am taking it as R and now here we are having inductance and dashpot that means spring and dashpot this is not inductance in mechanical system that is spring, spring and dashpot connected in between two masses. See the fourth point. The elements connected between two masses in mechanical system is represented as common elements between the meshes. So, here whatever the common elements between the masses are there that we need to consider in between the mesh. So, that means for this spring you need to consider a capacitance, for this dashpot you need to consider a resistance in between the meshes. So, so, here I will take a capacitance related to this K1. So, I will take C1 and a resistance related to this B1, I will consider this as R1. <coughs> now, coming to M2. M2 is having, M2, M2 we can model it as again inductance L2. So, again inductance L2 and here you are having another spring and another dashpot that means another capacitance, another resistance. So, another capacitance we will take here and another resistance we will consider here this is the resistance. So, this is C2 and this is R2. So, this is I1 we will take, this I2 we will take. So, this is the equivalent electrical network related to this mechanical translational system according to force voltage analogy. So, like this we will model the electrical network from mechanical translational system. So, we are having some separate process also if you do not know directly we are having some separate process to convert that mechanical into electrical problematic model is there that I will tell you in one example. In the next class I will complete force current analogy after completing force voltage and force current analogy I will give you a problem which can convert into electrical network both by using force voltage and force current. Now, this is about force voltage analogy to convert mechanical translational system into electrical system.